If you're nervous about an upcoming speech or presentation, or you're just not sure how to prepare, then stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to give you the 10 ingredients of a knockout presentation. So if you want to overcome your anxiety, you want to remember what it is you have to say in your speech, you want to engage your audience, you want to be confident, and you want to get rave reviews, then you need to watch this video. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm a public speaking and communication skills trainer, and I'm here to help you with your next speech or presentation. If this is your first time visiting, please click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I load up new videos. Please also smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and to help get the word out there. Let's get to it. This was a terrible idea. Angie swallowed hard, took one step towards the stage, and froze. 300 sets of eyes peered at the stage. Angie took a breath and looked down at her notes one last time. How was she going to do this? Have you ever felt like this? Speaking in public is terrifying. It's possible to overcome the fear and do a standout presentation, even if you're not prepared. Here are the 10 ingredients of knockout presentations. Number one, treat your presentation like a conversation. Imagine you go out for a beer with friends. Imagine one of your friends is speaking. He's speaking word perfect. It's almost as if he's reading from a script. As he talks, you notice the pauses are unnatural or non-existent. What he's saying sounds too rehearsed. His tone and his body language just don't gel. And this is what most presentations sound like. If your friend talked to you this way, it wouldn't be long before you excused yourself from the conversation. And the same happens every day in schools and businesses with presentations. We excuse ourselves by switching off. Good presentations are natural and conversational. Just watch any TED Talk. Natural conversation doesn't focus on perfection. Perfection. Focus on what you want to talk about and what you would like your audience to take away from your talk. Be conversational and you'll be listened to. Number two, be yourself. You know when you're talking to someone and something just feels a little bit off? A little bit disingenuous, a little bit fake. Maybe it's a business meeting and you feel like one of the attendees is acting. It's pretty easy to spot when someone is fake talking to them face to face. It's also pretty easy to spot when someone is being fake on stage. The lesson here is don't try to be someone you're not. Don't act. Just be yourself. The audience will respond negatively to acting. The audience will respond positively when you just be yourself. Number three, if you make a mistake, just move on. This is such a simple rule, but a difficult one for people to follow. Everyone wants to be perfect. We are raised to avoid mistakes at all costs. You mispronounce a word, you forget to say something, you get things mixed up, you are programmed to want to make things right. But here's the thing, most people won't notice. And even if they do, they probably don't care. So if you make a mistake, just move on. If you forget something, the audience doesn't know unless you tell them. If you mispronounce a word, the audience doesn't care. If you get things mixed up, just sort it out and continue. Number four, decide where you are going. Imagine this, your boss gives you the week off. You rush home, pack your bags, drive two hours to the airport, and then sit in your car thinking, where should I go? That's not the way it's meant to happen, right? You decide where you want to go on vacation, and then everything else flows from there. Buying tickets, knowing what to pack, arriving at the airport with enough time to check in. The same thing should happen in your presentation. Decide why you're delivering your presentation before you do anything else. What do you want the audience to do? What do you want the audience to take away from your talk? If you don't know the answer to those questions, don't continue until you do. Number five, visual communication is everything. It's not the content. Well, it is, but it's not. Your content is important and how you say it is important too. But if your visual communication lacks confidence and doesn't inspire the audience, then your content is irrelevant anyway. Encourage the audience to listen to your great content by projecting credibility and confidence. You project credibility and confidence through open body position, good posture, eye contact, gestures, and purposeful but limited movement. Number six, empathy. 
The ability to empathize with others is important in every aspect of your life, including your presentation. If you don't care about the audience, they can tell. Show them empathy by demonstrating you understand the challenges they face relative to the topic. If you're asking them to take some action which is bothersome, empathize with them. At least show them that there's a potential bright future as a result of the bother that they have to go to. Number seven. Your first words. Your audience will be quick to judge you. Make sure your first words count. Make a strong opening statement which intrigues them and also displays your confidence. Avoid boring the audience with the standard good mornings and thank yous. Fire your audience up with a reason to listen. Like from next week, your project workload gets lighter. Number eight. Your final words. Your audience will most easily remember the first and last things you say. In your final few words, give them something positive to associate to your presentation. Working together, we can do this. Sounds nice, but this kind of positivity often feels hollow. Instead, try something like, "Remember, all you need to do is make this one small change, and your project workload instantly gets lighter." Number nine. Prepare your presentation in a specific order. This one's tough. For most people, this one's impossible. Why is this one so difficult? Because it takes time and it goes against everything you are conditioned to think. For a knockout presentation. Prepare your presentation in this order. Decide what the takeaway is for your audience. Draft out the points you need to cover to get the audience to the takeaway. Make a basic outline of your presentation, not a script. If there is part of your presentation you're not sure about, start learning and getting familiar with it. Start practicing. Practice talking about each of the topics in your presentation until you have a cohesive speech that you can deliver without a script or prompts like notes and cue cards. Record yourself and watch it back with a critical eye. Address the two biggest problems you find. If you have time, repeat the last step. Build your slides. Use your latest recording and build slides that support the key points in your speech. Practice your speech again with your slides. At this stage, the focus should be on not looking at the slides as you deliver your talk, which should be easy because you've already practiced your speech without the slides. Number ten. Silence. If you take my advice from point number nine, when you're watching your recording, you're going to notice something. Filler words. The amount of ums and ahs and okays in your speech will make you look unpracticed, unprepared, and unconfident. Whenever you're not sure what to say next, pause. Be silent. Identify the times that you use filler words and the feeling you have at that moment. Practice being silent instead. Pauses are extremely effective in presentations and counterintuitively make you look more confident. You'll appear cool, calm, and collected because you're not using filler words, and you're comfortable with moments of silence. So those are the ten ingredients of a knockout presentation. Let me know in the comments what you think. Best of luck with your upcoming speech or presentation. I'd love to hear how it goes. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Cheers.